Hey folks, so I'm here with part two of my Sierra Madre review of the Hot Pocket. Let's see how it did out in the real world. So guys, I took this out and here in a bit I'm going to cut to some video of me actually out at Mount Rose uh, here in uh, Nevada. And <clears throat> I took this out to give it a real world pace and truly give it an experience because in the last video, well my initial video of reviewing the Hot Pocket, Sierra Madre, good on you guys, reached out to me and you did make a comment on my review saying that I wasn't necessarily enjoying it or using it as intended. I'll go ahead and I'll put a link up here in the cards. I did have a quick update on that and I did read the response. So <clears throat> with that, I'm going to go ahead and go through what my experience was with this Hot Pocket. Excuse me, this is going to be a little bit more of a review than previously. So overall, I like the build quality of this. It feels nice. It feels nice and smooth. The zippers are, are nice. They, they, they go quite well. Another reviewer had made a comment about the buckle system. Don't know if it's proprietary or not. You can see this, but it's a little bit of a different kind of uh, buckle. Um, so with that, I went ahead and taking the instructions from Sierra Madre that this is not really intended to be a stuff sack, but really more to put on your chest. And what they had said in the response, and you can go for that video that I went ahead and read their response <clears throat> in its entirety, is that when you're cold, you wake up and you pull this out, you turn it on to the high setting, put it on your chest, and then they said, you should be toasty within 15 minutes or less. Now the reason they say that is because the high setting lasts for 15 minutes and it cuts off. So that is the recommendation that it's on high, not low. I went ahead and I tested this <clears throat> out here last weekend, this last Saturday here at Mount Rose. It was 20 degrees when I pitched my tent. It snowed roughly five inches and it got down to 12 or 10 degrees. My individual thermometer had 12. My truck, when I got back to my truck, said 10, so 10 to 12. Uh, so I feel like that, that's pretty darn cold. And when I even got into my tent initially to start getting out of all my other clothes and, and getting into my uh, quilt and everything, uh, and you'll see that in the video. Yeah, there, guys. So uh, this is my real world. I'm going to take this off. Uh, real world test of the Sierra Madre Hot Pocket, the updated uh, version, if you will, the updated gear view. It was 19, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It was 19 degrees, and then, and now it's up to 26 since I've been in the tent here. Um, I've got the Z-Packs Duplex here. I got some uh, goose, feet, goose Feet Gear Down Pants, which I might need that. I've got my Enig Enlightened Equipment Enigma 10 degree uh, down quilt, and then I've got over here my, see if I can back this up, my X-Therm over here that I'll be sleeping on. So I, uh, I'm hoping to really give this a good go. The pace is we're gonna get down pretty chilly, pretty chilly here tonight. And uh, I think we're getting like, I don't know, four inches of snow or something like that. So uh, here's the liner, but here, here's the hot pocket itself. So you can see here, uh, here's a hot pocket, and I got about new thing, so I'm going to give that a shot um, and see how it goes with all this and uh, see if it does get me warm. They, you know, said that you're supposed to have it on your chest and turn it on the high setting to get toasty warm in minutes. Okay, um, I'm going to do that tonight. Uh, it's going to get really cold here. As you can see, you know, it's, it's a duplex. If you know anything about duplexes, uh, they're not um, overly insulated by any means, so it's going to get really cold. Uh, I'm going to have a perfect opportunity to test this out. Um, so, also, z -Packs had noted in their reply on my last gear uh, review of their hot pocket that 
Uh, this is to add to the thermal equation. Now in the um, promotional video, it talks about, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you're shivering. And it talks about your, cold, your toes being cold, but in their reply, their statement it was, uh, to use on a chest. I'm not really sure how, you know, if your toes are shivering, why you wouldn't use on your toes. Um, but in any event, uh, in the promotional video, it talks about if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're shivering cold, that this hot pocket will get you warmed right right up. Well, the high setting's only for 15 minutes and it shuts off, and you're not supposed to run back-to-back -back settings. You're supposed to let it, you know, wait for a while. Um, in my previous gear review video, which I will go ahead and link up in the cards, um, I had said, you know, the low setting just doesn't deliver any real amount of heat at all. And so I don't really see how it's gonna deliver up to six hours. But uh, they had said that it's intended on the high setting. So at some point in the night, I might get 15 minutes of good heat and then have to let that sit for a while and then try it again, I'm guessing. Do it again? I don't know. Um, it's supposed to add to the thermal equation. So maybe that 15 minutes of what they have on the, you know, for the high heat setting would, you know, insulate, you know, with, with my insulation, it, it would actually help it enough and it'd last me through the night then? I don't know. We're going to see. So anyways, um, this is a true blue field test, cold field test of what the hot pocket will be able to get me. And I'll let you know more when we get to the uh, time to actually uh, use it. Uh, maybe I'll have enough light uh, here. I can try and have, have a, my headlamp. So hopefully we'll get a chance to really see what this can possibly do for me to add to my thermal equation that I have already. It was already 19, so plenty cold for what you would want a hot pocket for. So what I did, and I, and I actually had to be in my puffy, it's so cold. So what I did was I turned this on, turned on high, put it on my chest, and I sat there in, in, inside my quilt, and I have to say, this is my updated review, this does kind of work. Um, it does. It, it did add to my thermal equation, which is what Sierra Madre's, I think, biggest critique of my previous review was. I did not intend for this to be a sleeping bag or quilt replacement. I never did. I intended it to add to my thermal equation. I can say, being out in the environment, it did uh, to some degree. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to cut here now to the video or not. I probably will. Yeah, hey guys. So um, it is not even six o'clock, and um, you can see there's some freezing action going on here <laughs> uh, in the duplex. Um, so just a quick um, update. I tried the hot pocket. It actually kind of worked a little bit. I mean, it got me warm, not necessarily completely toasty warm, but the problem that I would have here at the Hot Pocket is probably a gosh, 15 degrees or so, maybe less uh, out here right now, is that the Hot Pocket, while the high setting does deliver some good heat, the problem is it's only for 15 minutes and it's very localized heat. So as you can see right me right now, like I got my, I have my, uh, down pants, I've got my synthetic jacket, I've got my puppy, all this, you know, I'm gonna, yeah, a little bit of snow is actually kind of, like, almost coming in the tent a little bit, so the duplex is done my best bet, but anyway, um, I'll be all right, but, um, but no, um, the, the only issue I, well, it's bulky, it was sliding around, trying to slide off the power pack, uh, I had to keep it on, it's kind of difficult to kind of keep it on, Hold on. And on top of that, it's only for 15 minutes, so... And the heat was really localized. So it was like, okay, just great, but my, you know, like the rest of me is kind of cold. And so I get what you're saying, Sierra Madre, like this is going to add to the thermal equation. Um, but it's very localized heat, so it's a good idea. But right now, I, it's, I'm failing to see how this would keep me really decently warm for a while when I really need it. it kind of warm me, it kind of warms up my chest, yeah. But that's it. So, and then it's only for 15 minutes, you gotta let it cycle down and not, you can't run back to back. So I would love to see, I'd love to see the, the uh, high setting, frankly, go all night. That's, that's, that'd be great. That'd be great. Um, and make it even, even maybe a little hotter, but. So I tried it out. Um, 
So we'll see how it goes the rest of the night with, you know, <clears throat> basically I'm wearing all my clothes. Uh, almost all my clothes. But anyway, that's how it is here uh, in the tent uh, here up at Mount Rose. So, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll have a cold night, I think, but uh, it'll be fine. So, anyways, see you, Madre. I'll pocket. I, I commend you guys. It's, it's, a good, it's a good start to an idea. Um, I just wish that high heat, I mean, if that, if that were to last all night, or the six hours, that would be much, that would that, be a goal. That would be great. That that would be good. Maybe a, another setting in there, a high heat, higher heat setting. But yeah, so 15 minutes is kind of a bummer. So, and something maybe uh, larger panels because it's really localized heat. So yeah, larger panels that'd be good. But um, as you can see with that video there, um, it was cold. It was it wasn't cold. It, it wasn't that warm. So here's my here's my critique of the hot pocket. Being in below freezing temperatures. This high setting does offer a level of warmth. It does add to the thermal equation. So yes, Sierra Madre, I commend you for that. That is, that is uh, valid. Um, the thing that I found though, is that these pockets are, are quite small, especially compared to the large I bought here that fits my 10 degree down quilt. It fit my down pants, it fits uh, a couple of other things in there quite well. I was able to cinch it down really well. So this, I think I actually got too large uh, of a hot pocket size, but the issue I have is that, a couple of issues. <clears throat> One, the pockets are only this are only this big. So if you double it up, it, this is all you, you get on your chest. My legs were a little bit chilly. Uh, my feet were a little bit chilly, so it's in, in terms of of, of uh, size, it's, it's it's localized size, and, and you heard that there in the previous video. Um, it's, it's kind of a localized heat. Um, also, the heat setting wasn't quite as hot as I would prefer it to be, especially in that kind of environment. Um, I think if it were hotter, that would be better, but also if it lasted longer. So. I understand that there's some you know, some safety issues and some logistical issues and such, but the high setting was okay. It did add to my thermal equation. The problem was after 15 minutes and it kicks off and you can't run back to back cycles, I started to get cold again. So in a very real way, I really needed this to be on the high for all night to really appreciate it. and. It did give me some level of warmth, but that level of warmth was dissipated within just a couple of well, minutes, really, of turning it off, or of it kicking off, really. So, again, I think this is a good idea, a good start to a good idea. Um, I do kind of question on some level why the low setting, because as I said in my previous uh, review, and I'm going to say it here because I did experiment a little bit with it, the low setting just doesn't really deliver anything. It, it, it's extremely low. And if you're going to be out in the cold and the snow, like I was, I just, I don't understand the utility of a low setting. I understand that this is not going to heat your stuff up as a, as a primary source, it's a secondary thing. Uh, it's not going to get your stuff toasty warm and you can just dive right in. I get that, I accept that. Um, my review here is solely on how this felt on my chest with the directions and the advice and the feedback you gave. And it was okay, it added, but it just wasn't as warm as I'd like it. It was not as long as I'd like. I would want this to last for six hours or so or more to get me through the night. Um, so again, Sierra Madre, I, I commend you guys. This is a great idea. It's a good start to a great idea. The build quality here is nice. It's good. Uh, but I just didn't see I didn't, I didn't feel the warmth. I didn't feel it as warm as I want it to be. Um, and even if we took that away, even if we said, okay, it's not as warm as you'd like it to be, but it's still pretty, it's, it's okay. It's warm. It just didn't last that long. And if I, and I have the UL battery, I don't have the bigger one, but if I were to shoot through this, and say, you know, 15 minute increments. I don't know how long it lasts on the high, on the high setting. So 
Um, I would really want this to last all night and then some. I have the suspicion that if I were to go 15 minutes and then 10 off and 15 minutes and then 10 off, you know, high, low, high off, high off, high off, um, this would probably tap out pretty quick. Um, and if I'm on a multi-day night excursion, that's going to drain this battery. Um, so I would say my suggestions are uh, this is something that's it's decent. Um, it's not going to keep you that warm in the backcountry. Sorry, Sierra Madre, I understand you guys are going to feel differently. It's not going to keep you that warm in the backcountry. It's going to get you a little bit warm. Uh, it's not going to last terribly long. It's going to be 15 minutes. The thermal equation, yes, it does add to it, but it does not really add for a sustained amount of time because that heat will, you will lose some of that. Um, and I did stay very still with my quilt, and I did have my, my, uh, my strings with it <clears throat> so it would cinch down very very tight uh, it just didn't last that long that's that's my my biggest uh gripe about it um, the other thing i'll say is this battery is kind of is decently heavy it's, it's over nine ounces i think it's 9.6 or 9.7 ounces the issue i had and there was another reviewer i saw on youtube and he made a good point i didn't think about this but i definitely experienced this when you have this in the sack. You have to keep this position just so, otherwise it falls off to the side. Now I had mine laying lengthwise, so that was pretty well okay. I didn't have a problem with that. But if you were to be in a sleeping bag in a, in a hammock, you would have that choice, right? Put it on this way, or you might find if you have it <clears throat> horizontally, it's, it, it's gonna fall off. Uh, that's just the, just the nature of the bees, plus the, the material's pretty, uh, <clears throat> So it's not soap, but it's soap-like, so it, it really does slide right off. But um, in any event, that is my updated review of the Hot Pocket. Thank you, Sierra Madre, again, for weighing in with the comment and giving me that feedback initially. I went ahead and I tested it, put it through the paces. I think that this is something that is a good start to a good idea, like I said. However, this is not going to keep you hot. It's not going to get you hot. It's not going to keep you hot, in my opinion. It adds to the thermal equation, but with a battery that, with a, with a setting that can only last 15 minutes, it's just not the length of time that I would expect and that I would need. Um, thankfully, I had enough equipment out there that I didn't have to rely on an additional external heat source. Uh, but at probably at that time in the evening it was probably down to 17 degrees uh, it just didn't add as much warmth as i was looking for hoping for and also the length of time like i said it just it just wasn't going to last long enough and uh, i don't really want to have to have a kick off and then wait 10 minutes and try to time that and then kick it on again i just i, I want it to be sustained for the entire period of the night or or how long you, could, you guys can manufacture that battery so uh, with that, that's my review of the Hot Pocket from Sierra Madre. Uh, again, uh, this is just my opinion, what I experienced here this weekend out in uh, Nevada here with Mount Rose. Um, so if you have any comments, please feel free to comment below. Uh, if you have any other ideas or anything, you know, let me know. Uh, this is just my experience. It was a little bit underwhelming, and I just wish there was a bit more to it. But again... You know, last time, you know, great start to a really interesting and good idea. I just think there's some more there that needs to be developed so that way you have uh, longer sustained and, and, and higher intensity heat. Uh, maybe chuck the low setting because I, I just don't know what that brings. But again, this is my opinion, so that's what I have for you guys. This is my updated review, real world test. So hope you appreciate it, and if you do, give it a thumbs up, and look for those other videos I just said were in the cards, and otherwise, I will see you all next time. Bye.